I have always wanted to drive one of these. This is a 2017 Maserati Gran Turismo and Boston Motorsports here in Brighton, Massachusetts just invited me down to drive this CPO car. Don't worry, not a sales pitch. I'm just here to make Ferrari noises. These are so cool kind of underappreciated and as the, you know this style has been around for so long but i really think that the little accents they've done to it as they've aged looks fantastic and although it may not be a crazy track monster it makes incredible noises which we're going to encounter very soon and i think it's just the ideal like daily driver grand tour for somebody who just wants to spice it up a little bit and you get pretty good deals on these things knew they were like 150 grand now you can have them for around 70 and if you get old ones as low as like the 30s it's crazy under the hood we have the 4.7 liter 454 horsepower ferrari v8 and you can see where that sat they've put it right behind that front axle so i guess i don't know if it is technically front mid-engine but it sure looks it to me it's definitely ready to boogie with the 245 up front, the 285 in the rear, but the big piece de resistance up here are these monster brakes, these six piston calipers. And what a cool color. They don't, they're not paint matched, but they've got kind of like this incandescent matte finish on it. I love it. But you know what? It is a two plus two. Let's see if I can fit in the rear. So that moves forward. And I'm not the best person for this. I'm 5'9", 5'10", and that's my seating position. I've got short legs, so I tend to sit pretty close to the wheel. But if I'm honest, there's plenty of room back here. Slightly, slightly claustrophobic just because of this, but I've still got windows. I'm good. I've got everything I need. I've got my cup holders for my, for my Perrier because that's probably what I would be drinking back here. And it's hard not to appreciate the nice stitched Maserati logos everywhere. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. You've got it on both sides carbon fiber all along this door sill inside we are greeted with a very lovely italian interior we have carbon fiber everywhere it feels very nice you get the cool key the blue maserati key flips out Oof. the car's already warmed up so we can give her a little rev now if you put it in sport mode, you get the sport exhaust. Starts to sound a little bit crazier. <laughs> I think I'm driving that one next, but for now, I'm gonna enjoy this Gran Turismo. Let's see what she does. I, I, like, I don't wanna be disappointed by it. I want to love this thing in the worst way. Man, the seating position is fantastic. We have a six-speed ZF automatic gearbox. It's a torque converter, so you're not getting the crazy double clutch or single clutch aggressive shifts, but it actually is really fast. Listen to that. Speed limit exceeded. I think you're gonna hear that quite a few times during this drive. mounted carbon fiber paddles that is how you do it the suspension is adaptive it's called sky hook sky hook suspension all the 2017 pluses have that uh, basically it gives you a normal in a sport mode and it helps prevent uh, squat and dive under acceleration and braking and additionally uh, lateral movements so that way you stay nice and flat it does its job to keep the car flat but I'm most curious to see how it handles Boston roads One thing I noticed actually in the pedal box is that the brake pedal is pretty far forward. I keep expecting to feel it under my foot when I reach for it and I gotta go a little further to find it. What a sound. And while it's absolutely unnecessary for me to be using paddle shifters in this automatic torque converter gearbox, I feel compelled to because they're carbon fiber and they're huge and they're wonderful to play with. I'm going to do it.
And the only visibility concern I have is the left three quarter because it's just seat belt and B pillar. But you know what? That's what you get in any coupe. My 350Z was a nightmare like that. Granted, I know you're going to be here like well, you're comparing a Maserati Gran Turismo to a 350Z, but the shape is the same. You end up with those little windows back there. Nice Blinka. What an easy car to drive. This is just relaxing. I've got my AC on, which hopefully you can't hear in the microphones, <laughs> but I'm comfortable. I hope you're comfortable. When you're not in sport mode, that exhaust is really subdued. You don't really get any any shouty anything, but you know, why, why would you drive this car in anything? But this is where it shines, boys and girls. You gotta get it in the tunnels. But the real reason to buy this car is for this motor. just such a peach and it climbs to redline beautifully you just don't see wonderful ferrari naturally aspirated v8s anymore we gotta go this way speed limiter thing. I'm sure you could change that to a higher speed, which you would need to. Third gear is pretty tall. The gearing is a little tall. It would be nice if that second, third hit kept me in the rev range just a bit higher, but you know what? That's fine. This is a GT car. I think the most surprising thing to me is just how smooth and enjoyable the car is. I mean, I always expected it to be a good GT car, but I figured it was gonna be one of those things where it's got that fierce side to it that, you know, doesn't wanna let up. It always still wants to be this harsh, abusive suspension where, you know, you're just rattling your teeth out on your way to work for the sake of having this engine, but it's, this is luxurious. This is really nice to drive. If I had a home in Vermont or something, this is what I would buy to blast up there on the weekends because it's a nice, relaxing experience. You're going to get to your destination refreshed and happy. And at the same time, you're going to be able to enjoy the drive up there once in a while. When you hit a nice open stretch, you see those double guardrails, look around, no police, downshift a couple gears, and you're gone. Let this thing breathe. Let it sing. In dedicated sports cars, I'm always just making excuses for why they're so stiff. And you're like, well, you know, you're buying this thing. It's gotta be stiff to, to do the thing you want it to do. It's gotta be like that. But this, it's not making any excuses for anyone. It's kind of in a class of its own. It's just crazy because I feel like I have the luxurious ride of this Audi A8 that we're coming up on, but I'm doing it in a Ferrari V8 Grand Touring Coupe. It's just phenomenal. And it's clearly geared for 200 miles an hour because at 80 miles an hour, we're not even kissing 2,500 RPM. In an E92 M3, we'd be well over 3,200 RPM right now. So yeah, this thing is, is designed to do the Autobahn thing. It's designed to get you from city to city at night, at the blink of an eye, without, without even flinching. How about this carbon fiber wheel, huh? And I love that the center line isn't a painted red or yellow. It's just nice chrome. That's kind of cool. That's a happy car. Now my M3 would be bucking and complaining and squeaking and rattling all over these bumps. I'm, this is designed for the city driver for sure. I'm, I'm blown away by the suspension. I was not expecting this kind of compliance. This really lived up to my expectation. I, I'm surprised that I like it as much as I do. Because I've always heard folks talk down about these cars. And I mean, look, I don't know what it's like to live with it, but as a driver, sure, this is, this is exactly what it's set out to be. It's a GT car. So if you're gonna get in this car and complain that it's not a razor sharp Ferrari ready to hit the racetrack, then you're, you're just totally missing the plot. That's not what this is designed to do. 
But what it is doing for me right now is getting me from A to B with a Ferrari V8 and wonderful noises. And I'm getting this just killer experience along the way. And it's not just a special occasions car either. You don't need to baby this. You can just use it. It's your everyday driver. And most Ferraris, they don't offer that. They're not doing that thing. Whereas the Maserati Gran Turismo is giving me a daily drivable Italian exotic and a comfortable platform. So thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive and a monster thank you to Boston Motorsports here in Brighton, Massachusetts for letting me test out their Gran Turismo. I'll see you in the next one.